princes in darkness, they have had the opportunity to study your bloodline carefully. They have done business with your ancestors, so they know the sin that is peculiar to your tribe. The devil is not interested in carrying you through different roll call of sin and saying, steal. When you steal, then he takes it and says, remaining lying today. No, he doesn't want you to do many things. He wants to find the sin that is compatible with you and keep you struggling in that sin until you die. So the whole attempt of Satan is to be trying which sin is compatible. Which one do you enjoy? That when you do it, you derive satisfaction. When he finds it, then they, they tag that as your besetting sin. So in Hebrews, it says, seeing then that we are surrounded with so great a cloud of witness. He says, let us, right now, it's a demand upon a man. Lay down every weight and the sin that easily beset you. You can pretend to everybody, believe me. You can rub that powder, you can dress, you can even come out very sentimentous. Only you know the place Satan has put a chain in your hand. Only you know the areas where the princes in darkness can beat their chest and say, let him, let him say anything. We know that if it's this other aspect, we can bring him down. For some people, he's lost. The cord of lust has binded their soul. And all these things are happening in one season. The valley of dry bones. Anybody that stood up in a generation, anybody that became the face of God to a time, anybody that echoed counsel to an age, they prevailed over that valley and it is not going to be a man of God that laid hands on you or an anointing oil they poured on your head the reason why you prevailed and became a prince among men is that you fought through one season the other men fell inside the season of dry bones there are many luminaries in darkness that are lodged inside that season called dry bones one of them is the spirit of wardom responsible for every every expression of lust whether your lust is towards material things or lust for immorality there is a spirit that stands there so when god began to give me blueprints concerning my call and i slept one night and i saw dead bodies littered littered in a valley many and among the dead bodies a woman rose up she was naked stark from head to toe and she looked at me and pointed at me and said piece of bread you know why I was able to locate the scripture, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 26? Because I wanted to know what spirits call piece of bread. The piece of bread is the end state of a man that she has finished with. And I found out what spirit will come against me. I'm trying to teach you what you can you can know who you are by who Satan sent to stop you. You would if you are going to operate with power gifts in your life, if your ordination is the horn of power, it's lost that will come for you. Because what depletes power is lost and that spirit will be waiting for you in a season it's a battlefield and they know that this this year it is not about an argument they know that i think you want to stand upon the peak of mount zion there's no other way you must pass through the valley so they will not block you they, they won't fight you in primary school they will allow you can i share something with you you see for some of you the spirit of loss gained expression when you were only five years old has formed in your body to enable the spirit to carry out his merchandise. So, a three-year-old girl can be under the influence of the spirit. The spirit can already be in her and be using all this time he has before she grow and develop all her secondary sexual uh, 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 appendages. While he's doing this, he's mastering her spirit. He's dominating her. If you have ever heard demon being vocal and saying, why can you tell me to leave? It's because he's laying claim to how old it took him to secure this place as a habitation. And for many people, they don't understand where they fell yet. They don't understand where they missed it yet. You did not miss it because you did not pass an exam. The exam is only an excuse to convince you that you deserve to fail. The place is where men prevail is within that space. And God sent me here to collide with certain people and many of you are in that season, the season of dry bones. That after an encounter like this, that place where Satan had put a full stop and said, case closed. She will continue to rise and fall, rise and fall, rise and fall and she will never attain to the highest level of her call. Today there will be a wind that is coming from afar. Bones will join with bones again joints to joints 
sinews will form and flesh will cover it and I will decree and the wind will bring bread to them.